Many of you will arrive in Santorini by plane. Do you know, however, how you'll get to your hotel from there? Because there are quite a few different ways with some major differences in their pros and cons. And you'd better know which option you're choosing before landing in Santorini. Otherwise, it's going to be a big mess. Hey guys, welcome to Santorini Explained. My name is Sebastian, I'm a tour guide here in Santorini. And in today's video, we're talking about how to navigate Santorini's airport. The airport of Santorini is located right here, between the villages of Camari and Monolithos. To give you an idea of distances, from the airport by car, it'll take you 10 minutes to Fira, 25 to Ia, 10 to Camari and 25 to Perisa. Now, how do you get to your hotel from the airport? What are your options? Well, let me start by telling you what is not an option, and that's walking. I've met quite a few people who told me, yeah, we saw on Google Maps that our hotel was only a one hour walk from the airport. So we decided to walk it. I mean, it's Santorini, right? It's going to be a beautiful walk for sure. And then as they're doing it, they realize it was a really bad idea because they end up walking for one whole hour through fields and nothing else and all the blue domes they thought they would see on the way none of that because yeah all the famous blue domes you've seen online are not on that side of the island all right so if it's not walking then what are your options well there are five of them one you can rent a car or an atv at the airport if you're planning on renting a vehicle in santorini during your stay then i recommend you do it right there at the airport at the very start of your stay and if i were you i would book the car online before your arrival in santorini now there are two types of rental companies the ones that bring the car to you and the ones that need you to come to them. Between those two, the prices are usually the same, so in my opinion, option number one always wins, right? I'm gonna link you down below two of those companies. And just so you know, the drop-off location doesn't have to be the same one as where you picked up the car. So it's totally fine, for instance, to pick up your car at the airport when you arrive and then drop it a few days later at your hotel, for instance. Now, where can you find the rental companies at the airport? As you exit the terminal, they're immediately there. All right, second option, taxis. As you exit the airport, make a left and they're right there in front of you. First of all, you should know that the taxis in Santorini are pretty expensive. They'll probably charge you 30, 40 euros wherever you're going on the island, maybe even more than that. And then on top of that, you should know that there are not many taxis operating on Santorini. And this means that in high season, unless you're really quick to exit your plane, you won't find any cab. And then you'll have to stand there for God knows how long in the sun at the taxi station with all these other people also waiting for a taxi. So imagine how messy and stressful this whole situation is. And that's why I always tell people not to count on taxis at the airport. Now mind that everything I just said is mainly between June and September. If you're coming during the shoulder season or even the off season, you should be able to find a taxi much more easily. Oh, and if you're wondering if Uber exists in Santorini, the answer is yes, but the rates are even higher than the ones of the taxis. So I really don't see why you would use Uber. So instead of using a cab or an Uber, your third option is that you can have your transfer arranged by your hotel and nearly all hotels have that service. The price, however, will usually be quite close to the one of taxis, maybe even higher, but there is one huge difference. As soon as you exit the airport, you're gonna see someone with your name on a sign and bam, job done, you're good to go. Much more relaxing than the whole taxi mess. But I I repeat, it's not a cheap option. You'll probably have to pay somewhere around 50 euros. Oh, and by the way, if you find this video's information useful so far, please hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. Option number four, shared transfers. A shared transfer means that several people will hop on one same van or minibus and the driver will then drop you one by one at your different hotels. The good thing about this is the price. It's usually 20 euros if you're alone or 30 euros if you're two people, meaning 15 euros a person. So quite a difference compared to the 40 and 50 euros I mentioned previously. Now be careful though, the price will be incremented for each additional passenger which is not the case obviously for taxis or hotel transfers. So if you're traveling alone or you're two, then in my opinions, these shared transfers 
always win. But if you're three or more, then it probably makes less sense. If you want to book such a transfer, I'm going to leave you a link down below. And just so you know, this is an affiliate link, which means that if you book through this link, I am going to receive a small commission. So if you think that a shared transfer is the best option for you and you want to help my channel at the same time, well then by all means, you can use the link. The fifth and final option is for people who are on a budget and that's public buses. As you exit the airport and you turn left, the bus stop is there in the back. There's one bus per hour and they're much, much cheaper than all the other options we've mentioned so far. It will cost you 1 euro 80 to go from the airport to Fira. If you're not staying in Fira, however, well, you take that bus anyway. And once you're in Fira, you'll change lines and go to your hotel. Because yeah, all bus lines in Santorini are centralized towards Fira. So you'll find only one bus at the airport and it will go to Fira. Where should you buy your bus ticket? Either as you're boarding the bus or once you're already on the bus. So don't freak out if you don't find a vending machine or a kiosk to buy your ticket. It's all happening on the bus. Something else which is important. Your luggage will go in the trunk of the bus. And they do not let people board the bus with their luggage, even small ones, because of the space it would take and potentially even damage the bus if it's moving. So a little pro tip, if you're carrying valuables and you don't want to leave them unattended, make sure you pack these valuables in a separate small backpack which you can take on the bus. Oh, and one last thing about buses, it's cash only. So make sure you arrive in Santorini with some spending money. Your credit card will not be accepted. All right, so your five options are car rentals, taxis, hotel transfers, shared transfers, and buses. And now, whichever you pick, make sure you know before arriving in Santorini. And ideally, have it already booked. Because if you wait until the moment you exit the terminal to choose and you start improvising on the spot, you're potentially putting yourself in a pretty stressful situation unnecessarily. All right, so I mentioned public buses. And one thing you should know is that it's nearly impossible to find accurate information about bus lines in Santorini online. I'm not sure why, it's not like it's a secret or anything, but whatever I find on Google, Oh my god, it's it's all wrong. So if you want to know the real stuff, you can check out this video here. And if you're thinking of renting a car instead, but you're not sure if it's worth the money, well, then you can check out this one right here. All right, that's it for me. I hope you guys liked it. See you in the next one. Bye.